This is Matt from Investquant. Today is Monday, March 14, 2022. Friday, the markets opened strong but closed weak. And in doing so, they created what is called a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. So that's a pattern where uh, the body of the candlestick engulfs the prior day session. That took place on Friday. And what we're going to do this morning is take a look at what has happened following that pattern. So let me go ahead and get it set up. I'm going to grab all four instruments to set up space upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, currently, the markets are trading up in the overnight session. So I'm going to add that by going to the gap direction and adding gap up. And then I'm going to go into the price patterns library. And I'm going to grab that candlestick pattern. It's available in the active today, but it's also right here in the candlesticks. Um, I can just hit equals next to day after bearish engulfing. That will add it to the test or it's uh, yeah, right over here in the candlesticks. You can just click on that and that will load it as well. Uh, next, I'm going to go to the indicators and I'm just going to click below the 200. I normally use a 10 and 200, uh, but I do want to keep as many samples as possible. And this is not a pattern that takes place all that often. So I'm going to leave the 10 day simple moving average out of it and just uh, look at the ones that finished below the 200. All right. Now I can click view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when you gap up when the prior day was a bearish engulfing candlestick pattern that closed below a 200-day simple moving average. Historically, just 20 samples here in the S&P. We've got 22 in the NASDAQ, 19 in the Dow, 32 in the Russell. The win rates on them are neutral for the S&P, but a little bit favored for the others. So uh, S&P 50%. NASDAQ 64%, Dow 79%, Russell 56%. If we look at the average moves, you'll see that the average loss is larger for the S&P and the average loss is larger for the Russell. Uh, for the NASDAQ and the Dow, it's the average win that is larger. So uh, we were mixed on the average moves on which side has bigger average moves. And then the win rates are more favored towards the upside. The S&P is the only one that's neutral. The others are favoring uh, historically the upside. Hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today. We'll see you next time.